Hello friends, welcome back to CAD practice. Today we are going to construct a basic model of heater coil in Autodesk Inventor software. So let's get started with today's tutorial. Go to new, take a standard part in millimeter and go to create. Now select the 2D sketch and we will select the XY plane. Go to line command. First we will make a center line. So select this point and make a horizontal line here of 300 mm okay and escape zoom out now select this line and make it a center line this will be the reference line now go to line command and make a straight line here of dimension 250 escape now go to dimension from center line here the dimension will be 100 m ok now we we'll want to make this line this side also so we will use the mirror command go to mirror select this line go to mirror line and select this center line apply and done ok now we want to join these two lines with arc so go to arc command select three point arc select this point and select this point make arc here and go to dimension give this a dimension of 50 mm ok escape now you can see the sketch is moving forward to make it constrained Go to vertical constraint over here, select this point and select this center point. They are vertically aligned to each other. Okay. Now go to finish sketch <coughs> and go to origin and we will select now the YZ plane and create sketch. <coughs> Rotate it. We will project this point. So go to project geometry and here click project a point. Okay. Now go to circle command. On this point, make a circle of dia 12 mm and from same point make a circle of dia 9 mm. Okay. Now finish sketch. Go to sweep command select this profile go to path and select this path ok and click ok <clears throat> now from here give this a material we will give chrome polish now we will make these parts first the joining part so for that we will select first the XY plane, go to create sketch, go to view, go to visual style and change the view to wireframe. Okay. This is mostly used for sketching purpose. Select sketch, go to line command and here make a rough profile first. Here, this and ok. Go to dimension. First, go to horizontal uh, constraint. Select this point. Ok. First, go to project geometry. Project this line and project this line. Ok. Now escape. Now go to uh, vertical uh, horizontal constraint, select this line, okay, select this point and select this point. Okay. Now go to coincident, select this point and we'll select this line. Okay. Now go to dimension, give this a total dimension of 20 mm skip 
drag it outward or undo this first go to dimension give this dimension as 10 and now give this dimension as 20m ok now skip drag it upward and drag this also drag this now go to line command select this center point over here the green point make a line here this will be the center line escape ok select this line and make it horizontal escape select this and make it a center line now go to dimension dimension of this from center line will be 4 mm and this line from center line will be at 9 mm ok now the sketch is constrained this is the final sketch of dimensions finish sketch and go to revolve and select this profile go to axis and select the center line we will select join or you will take new solid go to view go to visual style and change shaded with edges we will make a new part over here and ok ok now you can see the difference now for this select this face and go to create sketch Now on this face, I will revolve it. Now on this face, go to circle command. First go to project geometry and project this circle. Go to circle command now. From this center point, make a circle of dia 9. And here a circle of dia 4.5. Okay. Now go to 3D model and select extrude extrude this circle at dimension 1 mm and ok now select this face go to create sketch change the view on this face first project geometry project this circle and now go to polygon and select 6 side polygon select the center line point and make a polygon over here ok make it normal now go to dimension this whole dimension will be 7 mm and go to vertical constraint or horizontal constraint will take this point and this point ok and go to circle command and make a circle of 4.5 now finish sketch and go to 3d model extrude extrude this profile up to 3.5 mm and ok now select this phase of polygon create sketch go to circle command here now go from this center point make a circle of 4.5 drag it outward go to project geometry select this now you get the center point by project geometry of a circle you get the center point drag this and place it over here now this is fully defined now finish sketch now go to extrude command select this and select the inner profile also now we will take a asymmetric extrude and give here a distance of 15 mm this side will be 15 mm and the inside dimension will be 45 mm ok now it will be till here 
a total of 60 mm and ok. Now we will make a thread profile over this. First select this edge, go to chamfer and take a chamfer of 0.5 mm and ok. Now for thread profile, first select this face, go to create sketch, rotate it. Select this circle, go to project geometry. Now finish sketch and from here go to 3D sketch, select the helical coil, select this point, this plane and drag it, ok. First we have to place the coil, then we will give the dimensions, go to dimension dia of 4.5. Uh, we will take here pitch and height. Height will be 60 mm and the pitch will be 0.7 mm. Okay. And okay. Now finish sketch. Rotate this view. We will select the center point. So go to 2D sketch from here and we will select the XY plane. And go to project geometry and select this point ok now select the polygon command and take sides as 3 so we are going to make a triangle make a triangle over here now go to dimensions and give this triangle a dimension of 0.5 mm go to coincident constraint select this point and select this point ok now finish sketch go to sweep command select this profile and path we will select this coil oh sorry not this circle this coil we will select go to solids this will be the solid profile and here we will take cut for cutting the thread and ok. Now you can see the thread profile. Now this is done. The joining portion is done. So select this unvisible. Okay. Now we will pattern or mirror this hole. So go to mirror from revolve till sweep select all features go to mirror plane and here we will select the exit plane and ok now this whole profile is patterned here now select this sweep feature and change its color change its color to metal 600f hot ok now we will make the coil, select the xy plane, create sketch, go to view, go to visual style and change it to wireframe. Here go to sketch, from here select two point rectangle, from this point make a rectangle dimension. 0.5 mm and go to line command from this center point make a horizontal line escape select this line make it a construction geometry or select this make it a center line go to dimension the top from center line here will be of dia 40 ok now finish sketch to make the coil go to coil command it will select this profile and here the axis this will be the axis and solid select this 
and ok go to view visual style change to shaded with edges ok now we want to pattern this first we will make this from here then the circular pattern so go to 3d model go to rectangular pattern select this coil profile go to direction 1 and here select x axis flip the side here the count will be of 22 and ok now similarly uh, first we will make the circular profile so for circular profile go to circular pattern select this single coil this single coil we will select go to rotation axis select this profile <coughs> here change the angle to 180 degree and flip the direction <coughs> and take here a count of uh, here count of 21 flip this and rotation axis ok this will be the rotation axis and ok now to pattern this this side this will look like this go to mirror feature select this rectangular pattern go to mirror plane and we will select the exit plane and ok now you can see the coil profile now we will change its color from coil till mirror one select all the features and from here select metal 1600 f hot ok now you can see the coil profile so this is the basic tutorial to how to construct a heater coil in Autodesk Inventor software. I hope you like the video. If you do that, please do hit like and subscribe the channel for more such videos. Thank